close your eyes and watch your breath. And watch your mind at the same time. Unfortunately, our eyes are always pointing outside, and so it's easy to look outside, harder to look inside. But that's where the Dharma is. There's skillful dharmas and unskillful dharmas, and they're to be seen inside your own mind. That's where your main focus has to be. But because our eyes point out, we tend to see other people's skillful and unskillful qualities. We start focusing on those. And the end of suffering is not to be found out there, it's to be found inside. That's the meaning of that question of, you know, does a dog have Buddha nature? If you translate Buddha nature as basically what you're trying to find in the practice, you don't find it in dogs, you find it inside yourself. When you're looking at other people, ask yourself, if you see something that you're doing that's skillful, do you have that skillful quality too? If not, that's something you can work on. If they're doing something unskillful, do you have that unskillful quality? That's something you can work on too. Now those, in other words, the work is inside. This is why we try to stay focused on the breath. To remind ourselves it's in here where all the important work is. So constantly take things inside. You hear a Dharma lesson and ask yourself, does this apply to me? Okay. That's the first question. All too often you say, well, so and so should be listening to this, or another person should be listening to this. But the question should always be, am I listening to this? And am I taking it to heart? And if it's not relevant to what's going on, okay, just let it pass. If it is relevant, then there's your work. So keep your focus inside. All too often when we see things they think are coming from other people, it's actually our own projection bouncing back at us. Look at them as mirrors. Because sometimes you look at them and you see, oh, I've, I've got that unskillful quality and this is what it looks like from the outside. It looks pretty bad. I've got some work to do. That's the useful way of looking at other people. And the same with their good qualities. There's something out there that I could work on, that I can develop. They're human beings, they can do it. I'm a human being, I can do it too. That should be your attitude. Don't think that they're outshining you in any way. We're not here in a competition. We're here to learn. And where we learn is inside. We get Dharma lessons from outside, but we have to apply them inside for them to really work. Otherwise, the words of the Dharma are just kind of lying around, unused, around the monastery. And it's a real shame. So keep your focus inside at all times, and you'll find that that's where the question of suffering becomes clear and where its solution becomes clear as well. As you take delight, as the Buddha said, delight in abandoning unskillful qualities and delight in developing skillful qualities. If you can find delight in that way, that's half the path right there. 